All right, you know what? This town doesn't want anything to do with me. Maybe the ghosts will be my friends. Go investigate this place. Make some friends with some spirits. I'm still pissed off about that goddamn thing. Oh, what was that noise? This place is really creepy. Oh, you hearing that music? Oh man, look at this place. It's dilapidated as hell. Waiting for that chick from the ring to come. Whoa, something moved. Uh, this is weird language. And there's a tree in it. <gasps> is it is, is is it that world tree that connects all the multiverse dimensions? Man, this town has oniony layers of occult craziness going on in here. All right. It's, uh, did you guys leave it because someone died here under mysterious circumstances? Man, this place is in desperate need of some TLC. Look at this. Bulletin board. No, don't. I want to see if I can read any of this. I'm hearing that weird noise. Oh, that is a giant box. Looks like something busted out of it. There's a cave troll in here. I'm freaking ready for it. Bring it on. I got cliff bars up the yin yang. And a furnace. A furnace. Wow, this place is just broken to hell. What am I supposed to do here? Investigate this place. Okay, I did it. Um... I don't exactly know what you want me to do. There's a bunch of stars here, too. Are these, like, things I gotta reconnect? What is going on in this place? There's a furnace? Um... Is there someone I'm supposed to talk to? Like... What am I supposed to do in here? Let's take a look at this one more time, I guess. I... Uh... Nope. Can I mine it? Nope. Can I do something about the wood situation? Nay, nay. All right, maybe there's something written on these mysterious notes left scattered about the ground. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing going on there. And that is just a block of wood. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. All right. Uh, kind of feel like I wasted my time here. Out I go. Like, seriously, I investigated. There were no rats. I gotta go talk to the mayor or something. I swear I saw some weird ghosty going on around here. Like, when I came in here, there was something... There! You! Oh, for God's sakes. All right, there's definitely little... Spritey spirit monsters living in this place. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm hoping I can rebuild this place. I mean, hell. Maybe then the people will love me. Seriously, I'll, I'll invest some time and sweat equity into this place if it helps brings it back up to code, especially if the kids are going to be playing in here, because, I mean, good God, they're doing everything in their power to get themselves killed. Between this and pissing off Pennywise, I don't think they're long for this world. I mean, forget rolling dice. They're playing with a loaded gun. It's, it's like Russian roulette with a, with a sawed-off. It's a 50-50 shot that eventually they're going to shoot themselves. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that when they do, they're loaded with blanks. Getting metaphorical up in here. All right, Mayor Lewis, I investigated the community center and I discovered there are, in fact, shroom sprites. What are we going to do about this? I hope things are going well at Buckleberg Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. Yeah, what about the community center, bro? Bro. Bro. Br Lewis. You geriatric SOB, I'm trying to talk to you about the community. How about you, Harvey? How'd the dance go? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, I hope you got some at the flower festival. I sure as shit didn't. How about you? How's your uh, flower queen son doing? The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Yeah, yeah you know, shortening their lifespans, destroying their uh, physical well-being, and getting them addicted to the dangerous substance we call sugar. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. But hey, at least you're saving a few bucks. Top-notch parenting in this town, I gotta say. All right, well, I mean, I cleared this place out. Is there nothing else I can do here? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go back in there one more time because I'm, I refuse to believe that that's all I can do in this place. There has to be something that I gotta activate or trip up or... I, what do I do to get this place back up to code? I I did the quest thing. I went deeper in the mine, level 40. It seems the mine elevated... Okay, yeah, that, that's not it. Raising animals, build a coop. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Okay, I see you, little ghosty. Ah, uh, goddamn. I got to translate this somehow. I don't know what with. There's got to be some sort of item I need to get to translate that slab, and that's probably going to give me some indication as to what I'm going to do here. I mean, look, if they want me to fix the place up, just... You're not shy about asking me for anything else. If you friggin' want jam 
or cauliflower or somebody to reach the cookies at the top shelf because you're too damn short to reach them yourself. You don't seem to mind bugging me, even though I got a farm to run, but hey, there's a community center right there that in desperate need of repair. The carpenter lives off the goddamn road, for God's sake. Ask her. Ah, uh, yeah, let's let, let's see about constructing some farm buildings. I'd, I'd like to know how much a coop will cost me. 300 wood, uh-huh. Four grand, and yeah, we're close. And 100 stone, what else do we got going on here? A barn, that's more pricey. What else you got? A well, provides a place for you to refill your watering can. I can do that right now, but I don't think I need it. Allows you to cut and store grass for feed. Oh, oh, okay. Now, I think I see what the fiber's for. All right. A windmill. Ooh. My God, look at all this stuff. It allows you to create flour from wheat and sugar from beets. I didn't even know I could grow beets. That's awesome. Cloth. Man, I don't even know how to make cloth. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. An empty building. Fill it with whatever you like. The interior can be decorated. A shed. It's a box to put shit in. Have fun. Stable. Allows you to keep and ride a horse. Horse included. Oh. Ooh, so that's what the hardwood's for. Still don't know how to make iron, though, so that one's going to be happening. A slime hutch. That looks like Castle Isengard. What is this? Raise up to 20 slimes, fill water through troughs, and slimes will create slime balls. So I harvest slime eggs from slime balls? Like the same things that I kill in the mine. Okay. Minus the killing, I guess. Refined quartz, iridium... Refine quartz. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can pick quartz up off the ground and turn it into... That's gonna be a ways off. All right, let's start the coop. So I need a, some more schmeckles. Bit more wood. No, I got the wood. I need more stone. All right, how about upgrading my house? How about that? Let, let's see what we can do over there. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It'll cost 10 grand and you'll... Wow, my God damn, no. I mean, I want to cook food as much as the next guy, but hey, Maru, how you doing? Sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. Yeah, I'm a little cranky because you shot me down at the dance festival. It wasn't a freaking date. I just wanted to be included. That's all I wanted. Didn't have to spit in my face. Say I was gross. As most of you did. Because you're terrible people. Yeah. I am... I am not pleased. You know what? I'm so unhappy. I'm going to go down to the 30th level and fight zombies. If I die, don't shed a tear over me. It's not like you did during the festival. I'm going to be riding this train for a while. <laughs> oh, boy. What the hell? Uh, are we gonna, ghosts? Is this ghosts? What is that horrible noise? Gollum? Bats! Oh, orange! God damn. Okay, is that it? Here's another one. Okay, we done with the bat attack? Oh, come on. I know there's one more. Yeah, I can hear you. I have a sword. What do you have? You got nothing. Oh god, no, you got more than nothing. Jeez. Come back on me. My god, the bats are... They are in rare form today. This is getting super freaking dangerous. What are you? Oh, you sound horrible. This is... Okay, Marlin didn't say shit about there being zombies down here. Is this happening again? Already? But, but, but we just got over with a bat attack. Okay, this is getting dangerous. It's not too spicy for the pepper yet, but we are getting close. Okay, this is mild. This is mild. Mix a bit of hot in house. We got something going on here. Whoa, jeez. Come on. Where are these bats even coming from? This is bat country. And I'm not feeling it right now. Get out of my face. Okay, that's a lot of copper. I can't, I can't ignore that. That is, that is too much copper to let go by. But I would be a fool. Oh, Jesus. Well, enjoy that, you dickweeds. Oh, what happened? Did you get smoked? Did you get spanked? Man, that is a lot of bats. Oh, there's still one coming at me. Jeez, once you get down to level 30, things start getting serious. Oh, well, this is a little bit more of what I'm used to. Okay, not so bad. Bugs. Oh, wow, you actually got a hit in on me. You know how rare it is that those guys actually manage to land a blow? It's friggin' rare. Tell you that much. I'll keep the copper all down there, nice and by its lonesome. Oh, wow, I didn't even mean to hit you. <laughs> I'm not sorry. You're on my hit list, you see. Yeah, there's an old guy up in the log cabin up on the uh, well, floor zero, I suppose, who apparently won't have anything to do with me until I've uh, kicked the crap out of a small army. He's a bit of an asshole. And apparently someone I need to impress. Now, I notice a lot of the people in this town I need to impress are kind of dicks. 
I mean, oh crap, is there a freaking zombie? Th God, jeez. Yeah, there is. Okay. Ow. Jeez, C come into the light so I can fight you proper. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Do you just walk in right angles? I mean, so do I, but you seem to be just like zigzagging at me. You can go down anytime now, buddy. There you go. All you leave are rocks? All that effort and all he leaves me is a rock. Yes, I need them. That's not the point. I feel like I'm owed something more. Is that another one? Good God, they're all over the place, aren't they? Well, I'll just try to find a way out of here as quickly as possible. Although the last thing I want to do is stir up more than one. Maybe I should kill him. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll soldier on. It's got to be close. There's got to be a staircase somewhere nearby here. Maybe that's what it meant when it said I could, like, make staircases to the next level, because, uh, oh, where is it? Speaking of which, but, uh, no, this one, right, where is it? Uh, there. Yeah. Use this to move down a level in the mines. Like, I wonder if that's kind of like, like a free pass. Like, you put one of those down, you can automatically go to the next level. I'm gonna give one of those a shot. Really what I need to do is get a crap ton of rocks, because, oh, good, another bad attack. Yep, that's, that's all I needed. Thank you. You know... I'm down here trying to get rocks. I'm not actually trying to kill you guys for once. Rare, I know, but I mean, I actually have bigger fish to fry. So, you know, if you don't want to attack me, that would be nice. I'm just trying to get rocks. I'm just trying to get rocks. Wait, this is garbage, isn't it? Why am I holding on to this anyway? You know what? I will keep the rocks up here. I want to keep a running score of how many I need. I don't even remember how many I got back at the ranch. But, the moment I get those, then I can get a chicken coop, but then I'll need feed for them too. So should I get the silo first? I don't even know what chickens need. Like, the last thing I want is to spend money on a coop, and then put chickens in it, and then they die because I can't feed them. So should I get the silo or the coop first? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, well, you know what? I have my sights set on a coop. Winter is coming. So, yeah, we'll focus on that for now. Coop it is. Sat it on the coop. And there's another rock zombie. What are you even called? I want. I, I gotta check the list when I get back up there. I wanna know what these things are called. I mean, the Diglett creatures were called Duggies. So I imagine these gotta have some equally stupid name. Ah, uh, you know the bitterness from the flower festival is starting to wear off, but I mean, I don't know. You gotta hit that hard. I mean, I know they say like, you ask somebody out and you know, ask enough times, eventually you don't care when you get shot down. But if five in a row, and being said, ew, it's like, come on, I'm human too here. I mean, you could just say no. But I think if I've learned anything about the personalities of the people that dwell within Pelican Town, it's that Haley stands among them not only as the Queen of the Flower Festival, but has the Icy Frost Queen of Bitch Mountain. So, not all that surprising coming from her. And, oh, I'm almost at the 40th floor. Ooh. I don't know what to give the dwarf guy, though. I'm kind of afraid of pissing him off. I mean, he speaks a language I don't understand. He looks like a black mage. And I wouldn't be surprised if he were in the wrong mood. He might start flinging a bit of death magic my way. So let's avoid incurring the wrath of some sort of eldritch god, shall we? I think we'll just go home, throw some bug guts in a box, go to bed, and see what happens. Roll them bones later. It's the 26th. Spring's almost done. I definitely don't have the money to buy it yet. Calm your tits, Robin. I'll probably be able to pay for a coop tomorrow. I hope you get to tell me where I... Don't Don't just put it somewhere. I hope I get to choose that much. If you just go like, ah, I put it right here. The bottom of your farm. Where it's inconvenient. Oh, God, I thought that chair was a ghost. <laughs> I really thought the chair was a ghost for a second. That would have been bad. Um, Calendar. Yes, tomorrow is her birthday. I'll give you a flower. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a flower and one bird. What kind? <laughs> it's the rare one. Yes, it's it's the rare um, to the left of index bird. You never seen one before. Oh, you know they they, they often come out, usually in a pair. Uh, no, hold on a second. I want to wait. Can I actually? Oh, I can take things. Ah, okay. I see. All right. That wow. Okay, I guess. That makes a lot more sense, because then I can just put that in there. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I, I got you. I understand what's going on here. I'll hold on to the quartz, though, because I want to see. I'm not saying Abigail's the one, but what I do consider is this. At the very least, she's going to be kind of a test to see if giving people gifts that they like constantly boosts how they like me, or if the only way to do it is by 
giving them gifts on their birthday, in which case it's going to be a long time before I'm friends with anybody in this crap bird town. Let's see how much money I made. How much are them bat wings worth? Well, oh, not a whole lot, actually. Earth crystals are honestly doing me better than that, but then again, the bat wings are more plentiful because they were dive bombing me. Like Japanese World War II fighter pilots. Ooh, that is a creepy sound. How you doing, Farfo? Yeah, it's another day in paradise for you and me, Wok. Actually, to check his name, I was about to call him Warf. It's like, I don't think his name is Warf. Oh, uh, who the hell's sending me mail now? My sources tell me you've been... It's the wizard! My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you come and pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have some information concerning your rat problem. Rasmodius. Oh, man. How about that? We got a personal invite from the wizard extraordinaire, the sorcerer supreme. Now, there's a guy I wouldn't mind getting to know. He probably has a good reason for staying locked up in his tower, and he can help me deal with the community center situation, you say. Well, all right then. Meet the wizard. I will meet the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Pelican Town. And do I have enough rock? I don't think I have quite enough rock yet, but I believe... Ah, it won't take me too long to get a hold of. Uh, and I guess I really don't need a watering can when it's dumping buckets. I'm not even growing anything, so yeah, I don't need a watering can at all. Alright. I'm gonna go give... Uh, what's her name? A frickin' Smurf Top. Emily, that's it. I'm gonna give her the flower. Say happy birthday, and fuck off, because I, I really don't want anything to do with the people of this town right now. I'd rather go talk to the wizard and see if I can do something about the evident haunting that's going on inside there before it goes from an uh, innocent little sort of Casper the Friendly Ghost situation to full-on poltergeist and straight into ring territory. I need carp to rub on my sore head. What? Why would that help? No. No, I'm not helping you with that, Linus. You... Look, I'm up for a lot of things, but dude, that's just weird. Can I cut this down? No, I can't. Okay. I was about to be a dick and be like, ha 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 ha. If I can't win the flower dance, you can't have your maple trees. But apparently the town foresaw that and probably had Rasmodius cast some sort of invulnerability spell on the trees so that someone like me couldn't come along and rip them down. Oh, uh, well. Nah, I could, you know what? I'm going to go see Asmodeus. Rosmodius. Cool name. I like it. We'll see just how this goes. In fact, you know what? That's where we're going to leave things. I want to get through here. Come on. God damn. How about this one? Anything in here? No? All right. Whatever. Is this a guard move, by the way? Like, if, if I do it at the right time, it'll block them? I mean, maybe. Yeah, all right. You know what? Now, we're, we're, we're going to get to Rosmodius before I call it quits on this one. I, we're, we're too close. We're too close. Got to find out what's going on in the community center. Why? Simple. It's the only thing I really give a crap about apart from improving my own farm. But I need more rocks to do that, which means I would have to go to the mine. And I think it'd be far more interesting to go see what the wizard has to say about the little goo ghosts that are haunting the community center. Well, then, who knows? They might spill out. <gasps> this could be a hell mouth opening up. So wait a minute. Hold on. You seal this place with rocks, and you only use it once a year to go dancing. That's kind of messed up. Like, I mean, it, why seal it for the rest of the year? What's so wrong about keeping it open 360, honestly? I don't see the problem. Maybe there's a threat I'm just not aware of. Rosmodius, let me in, buddy boy. Okay, are you summoning a devil? I'm not cool about this. Ah, come in. All right, uh, brewing some hooch over there, bro. What's going on? Ah, colored balls. Oh, oh. I am Rosmodius, seeker of the arcane truths and dyer of purple hair. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Consumer of expired fruit beverages. Master of the seven elementals. Imbiber of alcoholic content. Keeper of the sacred... You get the point. Yeah, I was going to keep making fun of you if you kept going on like that. So, what's going on at the community center? And you, Buckles, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Yeah, you and apparently everybody else in this town, what do you want? I'd like to show you something. Um, no, I'm good. I'm out. 
I'm leaving. Oh, okay. No, you talk about something in the uh, in, in in the scrying circle. There you go. Behold, that's the one. Okay, I got my knife. Hold it steady. I'll kill it. Um, what is it? You've seen one before, haven't you? I've seen several, actually. Is it a danger? They call themselves the Junimos. Sounds like a cult. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Well, I mean, it's probably because you keep summoning them in a pentagram. Devils don't like being ripped from the ethereal plane, I'll have you know. I'm not sure why they moved to the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, what about the tablet I found on the ground? Can you tell me anything about that? Oh, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Is that what I said? Okay, sure. Most interesting. Yes. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Okay, you gotta show me how to do that. That would make my commute so much faster. Um, can I walk around? Uh, oh wow, Jesus, man. Why didn't you just teleport back? I found the note. Yeah, what'd it say? What's it say? What's it say? I'm in over my head. Oh, hurry, or I may be dead. <laughs> I mean, maybe. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. And... We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Well, I'm obviously not one of the forest. I didn't see shit. I saw a bunch of gobbledygook. Hey, speaking of which, you know how to speak dwarven? Okay, ignore me then. Yeah, one with the forest, what do they mean? Uh, I'm assuming hippie. Are you, like, doing some blow? What's up here? Oh, you're taking a big huff of your hooch, okay. Aha! Yeah, you, you, you took a hit, didn't you? Come here. Uh, no. Why do I even bother? You want me to take a whiff of this, huh? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells like you shit in a boot and then dumped it over a fire. Here, drink up. Hell with that, no! Yeah, no, I don't think this is a good idea. My hobo intuition says... Okay, apparently down a mug, why not? I look like a frog, bro. Look at me now. This is awful. Look like I'm about to hurl. Um, okay. Forest dance with leaves. <laughs> I've been drugged. I've been drugged. I'm seeing... Are these the spirits of the trees I've cut down come back for revenge? I'm sorry, spruce. I needed cliff bars. My god, yeah. Is this like that Metal Gear Solid 3 level where you fight... What is it? Not the fear, but the sorrow. And for every guy you've killed, the level's longer because you got to go through ghosts of every enemy you've slain so far. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo Scrolls. There's more of these things? And that's it. All right. We met a wizard. We had a trip. And now we know we must in... Or no, we must seek the aid of the Junimos. By giving them gifts, and I assume by repairing the community center, because they probably don't want to live in a cracked end any more than the kids like playing in one. So, with that information well in hand, we're armed to the teeth with knowledge and magic power. What does that mean for us down the road? Hopefully it means the next time I go to ask somebody to dance, they don't spit in my face. Yes, I'm still bitter about it, and I probably will be for quite some time. So, until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.